Is Facebook taking over your life? This subhanallah is a genuine question that we need to be asking ourselves because it seems that most of us we are addicted to Facebook most of the time now with our phones wherever we go it's all about sitting down and we're just typing away on our phones and most of us have become extremely antisocial as a result of this if you go and you place 10 people inside of a room now most of the time they're all going to be on their phone they're not going to really uh, be looking around and talking with one another and socializing we've become very very antisocial as a result of this perhaps sometimes even our relationships with our spouses our relationships with our family or our friends they are suffering as a result of us being addicted to facebook subhanallah where now every single time that we do anything any event that occurs within our life we have to go online and broadcast it to the entire world so we have to tell them I'm in such and such a place now or I've just done such and such a thing or you'd be amazed at what just happened to me and our entire intention sometimes is based around um, making our own life seem extremely exciting making ourselves seem like we are busy doing other things and subhanallah it's even got to the extent now where people have begun advertising their acts of worship so I've just prayed two rak'ahs and it was the best two rak'ahs I've ever prayed. Or you'd, uh, it's amazing, you know, here's me uh, on, on, on Hajj and they take a picture with them and they've got the Kaaba behind them and, oh, and here's me doing the tawaf, etc. And subhanAllah, there's no ikhlas, there's no sincerity for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala left anymore. Other times we are wasting our times all we do we just look at our Facebook feed and we think subhanallah this person's doing this this person's doing this and all we want to do is just learn about other people's lives so much so that we completely forget to live our own life we completely forget that every every single second which passes we're never going to be able to get it back and one of those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to ask us about ask me and ask you about on Yawm Al-Qiyamah is our time how we spent it how did we spend our time every single second is extremely valuable and we find that things like facebook and twitter and social media as a whole we're maybe wasting three or four hours of the day wasting three or four hours of the day just uh, on, on our Facebook and our Twitter and some people they may even spend all of their day on Twitter the first thing or, or Facebook the first thing that we do when we wake up in the morning pick up our phones and see our notifications oh I've been tagged in this or oh, such and such a person has commented or oh, such and such a person likes this maybe even subhanallah we are sharing reminders where people think that we are giving them da'wah but in actual fact we just are addicted to this attention that we're getting people are giving me likes while this person's commenting this i've got this many shares and our intention our ikhlas fi sabilillah has gone completely down the drain how can we control this the first thing is be disciplined don't use facebook if it's going to open you up to fitna if you feel that you're not strong enough to face the fitna of facebook then don't use it the second thing remember the ikhlas for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remember that this action if you're going to share beneficial reminders ayat ahadith aqwal from the salaf sayings from the salaf make sure it's beneficial the third thing make sure that your life in reality takes precedence subhanallah sometimes our relationship suffers with our family friends and we all we're interested in is our virtual friends no those people in reality your family they come first your parents they come first your spouse comes first so don't ever allow those relationships which you have formed in the real world to suffer as a result of your virtual online relationships the next thing if you feel that it's going to be a problem for your ikhlas your intention your sincerity and you may feel that you're not going to do you're going to do something for the sake of other than allah you just want recognition or praise or you want to become popular stay away from it ya ikhwan our lives we lived our lives before facebook and our lives will go on if we don't have facebook so the reason why the du'at and the people who give da'wah they are on facebook is because it's a good platform to get the message out to the masses the most uh, people the majority of people they are using it so we go on there to deliver the message but if you feel that it's going to come between you and Allah or it's going to come between you and your spouse or between you and your parents you and your family you and your day-to-day -day life then stay away from Facebook I end with this question is Facebook taking over your life 
this is something that we all need to reflect on.